Memphis, Tennessee, famous for the blues, barbecue, and of course, Elvis. It also happens to be the home office of Barnhart Crane and Rigging. Not far from Barnhart is the Premcor Refinery. In November 2003, Premcor needed to erect two reactors in its operating NHDS unit as a part of the plant's low sulfur fuels project. All that was standing in the way was the rest of the refinery, a few underground obstructions, and a tight schedule. A heavy lift crane was costly and space requirements were quite excessive. As it turned out, Barnhart's modular lift tower was the perfect application for setting these two reactors. The larger reactor, the scan finding reactor, measured over 81 feet long and almost 22 feet in diameter and weighed 225 tons fully insulated. The second reactor, while much smaller at 60 tons and 65 feet long, needed to be erected by the same system to avoid requiring another crane. Due to the weight and size of the larger reactor, it would ship to Memphis via deck barge, but could not be discharged at the plant due to multiple low pipe racks. In addition, the scan finding reactor grew as the vessel was being fabricated, making all routes into the plant difficult and expensive. Barnhart stepped up to the plate by offering an alternate roll-off site and performing the roll-off operations at a short one-mile haul to the refinery, utilizing 12 lines of self-propelled Goldhofer platform trailer. A larger reactor was transported to the plant and staged on site for insulating. While insulating commenced, Barnhart's engineers and small crew began assembling the lift tower in and around the operating NHDS unit. The tower would have to be stick-built due to the extremely limited space in the unit. Barnhart's erection plan would require the erection of the modular lift tower to be erected during the ongoing construction of the NHDS unit and adjacent to the other units that continued to operate at full production rates. The lift tower was assembled in a tight and congested alley within inches of a row of transformers on one side and up against the piers of a new heat exchanger bank on the other side. Barnhart engineers also worked around an underground utility vault located near one corner of the modular lift tower's steel matting system. The tower's steel matting, or grillages, were leveled using a mixture of sand and gravel to a tolerance of less than one-eighth of an inch. Barnhart employed one of their LTM 1400s, a 500-ton hydraulic crane with short luffing jib to erect the modular lift tower in a matter of days. Two sets of five-foot deep girders with integral side track were placed on top of the lift tower. The hydraulic slide systems would allow movement of the reactors in both directions. Finally, Barnhart's custom-designed and fabricated 500-ton hoist system was placed atop the tower and utilized as the primary lifting system. Certainly, it was a complicated project, and working in and around a live process unit adds a degree of difficulty and danger. As always, safety was of the utmost importance. Barnhart designed and engineered safety into every aspect of the overall project and the modular lift tower, including multiple and easy tie-off points allowed for 100% tie-off, caged ladders and platforms with handrails, ground-operated controls for all lift tower functions, cameras on the lift towers to observe operations from the ground, daily job hazard analysis and toolbox meetings during construction, detailed pre-lift meetings with the customer, owner, and Barnhart crews prior to each lift. After the modular lift tower was assembled, Barnhart relocated the reactor to the narrow alley where the lift tower was waiting. The on-site haul involved a 90-degree turn and only inches of clearance in several locations as the reactor was transported down the narrow alley. This on-site move was made in less than one hour. As with all the best laid plans, things changed. One week prior to mobilizing the modular lift tower, after an on-site review, Barnhart engineers were confronted with several new piers that had been poured in a location which would hinder the delivery of the new reactor under the hook of the lift tower. Rather than require the customer to remove the errant piers, Barnhart engineers quickly developed a revision to the plan that would not delay the project. The method involved moving the reactor in as close as possible with a platform trailer, then discharging it to stands and slide track, which would be used to hydraulically slide the reactor under the hook of the tower. This work was completed in an afternoon and kept the project on schedule. 
On the morning of the lift, Barnhart crews assembled and connected the rigging for the lift tower and moved the LTM-1400 into position for tailing operations. After a detailed pre-lift meeting, Barnhart superintendent signaled the operators to commence lifting operations. The 225-ton reactor was safely raised to vertical in less than an hour. The modular lift tower operator then moved the reactor 38 feet in the east-west direction and then 10 feet in the north-south direction and finally lowered the reactor down onto its anchor bolts. The reactor was on the anchor bolts in less than two hours. Barnhart crews took a deserved day off, then returned to set other equipment with the LTM-1400 while waiting for the smaller reactor to arrive via over-the-road transporter. When the smaller reactor arrived, Barnhart crews transferred the 60-ton reactor to the Goldhofer trailer with their 180-ton crane and moved the smaller reactor under the hook of the modular lift tower. The same process was completed with the smaller reactor. Immediately after setting the smaller reactor, Barnhart crews disassembled the modular lift tower and were off-site in less than two days. Both the customer and owner were extremely pleased and impressed with Barnhart's performance throughout the entire project. Barnhart had zero injuries, first aids, or OSHA recordables. All the work in this congested operating unit was completed without any property or equipment damage and zero near-miss incidents. Due to intense and detailed project management, engineering, and great teamwork, these two reactors were set safely and on schedule despite losing several days due to delayed equipment delivery, weather, as well as dealing with unanticipated obstructions. Another job well done, the Barnhart way.